Hi guys, welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a great question. We've got uh, somebody looking at one of our videos where we use some JavaScript to make a section appear and disappear. And they're asking if it can be done just using an image. Well, yeah, it can, but we're not going to use JavaScript for that today. We're going to use Divi Supreme modules. If I roll down, Divi Supreme is just an awesome plugin for Divi. Here we've got an image. And when I click on it, it pops up a whole section. And at the top, there's a close button. Go back where we were. Now, it's not exactly doing what you're asking there, but it ties in nicely with it. Um, to do this today, like I say, we're using Divi Supreme modules. You've got to have the pro version installed. You'll find the link below the video. And to make this work, you want to go into Divi Supreme Pro to the general settings. Make sure that you have enable Divi pop up set to on. So it's purple like that. Save your changes. If you forget this step, this will not work today. OK, well, let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'll just get rid of this image that I've put in here. Well, it's actually a blurb module, I believe. OK, well, let's find the section that we actually want to pop up. I mean, obviously, you might want to build one, but I'll use this one right here. Well, let's use this black one, why not? Okay, going to the section just to the left of the trash can there, you'll see this little round icon. Left click on it, and we can save this to our Divi library. I'll say BLK black section, BLK sec. Now we saved it to our library. Now, obviously, if you want it to pop up, you don't want it to be appearing in the first place. So we can now trash it once it's saved in our library. And let's go up to our little row. I've got a, a section above here with a row with three columns in it. I'm just going to put something in the middle here. I'll use a blurb. You can use a regular image if you want to. The reason I'm using a blurb is that I can put a little, little information underneath using the titles. Click here for more. Click for more info. Or whatever makes sense to you. I really don't need any content in there. If you do, put put in whatever you want to put in there. Okay, and let's put an image in. It really doesn't matter which. Roll down a bit, image and icon. Now let's put that image in. Really doesn't matter. It's just for a demonstration. And we're good. And now all I want to do is align that to the center, I think. So I'll go over to the design, to text, and align it center. Great. So now what we want to do is make this pop up our little section, or our big section that we saved there. And it's really easy to do. What I'm going to do before I do this is I'm going to save it, and I'm going to save the page changes. And once they're saved, I'm going to reload the page. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because when we go into this section, I've got to find that section, or when we go into the image, rather, I've got to find the section we say to the library, and it won't show up unless we refresh the page. So I'm going to go back into the module, back into the blurb module. I'm going to go over to advanced, I'm going to go down to visibility. If we scroll down a little bit, you're going to find a little trigger that says you use pop up. And like I said before, if you haven't got this enabled, enable Divi pop up with the Divi Supreme Pro, that won't be there. What do we want to pop out? Well, we want to pop up the layout. You can have all kinds of different pop ups. You can have video, image, iframe, layout. But layout's fine for me. Now we want to find the layout we saved to our Divi library. So I'm going to left click on there and it should be down at the bottom there. There it is, BLK sec. There we are, black section. We want it to trigger on the module click. 
So anywhere that anybody clicks on this module will pop it up. Close pop-up triggers, well they can click outside the pop-up or it will close or we can have a close button. I'm going to have a close button because this is a full, I'm going to have this section as full width. So I'm going to have a close button. I don't want to use auto close. So you can have it on a timer to automatically close if you want to using that. There's all kind of entrance and exit animations. There's all kind of different ones you can, you can choose from. Pop up position center. That's absolutely fine pop-up position type absolute that's fine we can have it fixed if you want to but uh, I'm actually gonna leave it on absolute because that will work perfectly for this now usually I don't use the full width because I find the little pop-up that pops up here a bit like a light box is fine but in this case I want it to pop up the whole section to fill the page so I'm gonna say use as full width Show overlay, that's fairly irrelevant for this because it's going to be behind the section. Definitely want to show the close button. Close button placement inside, yep. And you can choose your icon. There's an X there. I'm going to leave it that as the default. You can choose any, any of these that you want. And there's plenty of them. We can give it a background color if we want to. And choose the actual icon. I'm going to leave it just as it is of that dark color which will appear as an X in the top right hand corner there. That's it. We're pretty much done. So if I save this now. Save the page changes. Actually before I disappear I just thought of something. The section we're popping up has got a black background. So let's go back in here a minute and change it or else we won't be able to see our close button visibility what I can do here's our button close button background color I'm gonna make button icon color white so we should be able to see it on our back black black background there it's difficult to say three times Okay, let's save and try this out. Let's exit the Visual Builder. And let's go down to our little image. There it is right here. Click for more info. And there's our little black section. As you can see, it stretches full screen, top to bottom. There's no website in sight there. And there's our little close button. Had I left that black, we wouldn't have been able to see it. And there it flipped out one more time there we go so it's not quite the javascript thing that you were looking for but that's a really nice feature i like that that's using the divi supreme modules so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.